Good morning, Hope Community Church family. This is Pastor Zelf with today's devotional thought based on the 25th day of the Red Letter Challenge. Our focus today is going to be on helping those who are sick. No one likes to be sick. It is a terrible feeling, especially when you can't get out and do the things you want to do. What is special is when others reach out to you and offer to help you in any way possible. Mark chapter 2 tells us a story about uh, helping the sick. I would like to share that uh, with you. A few days when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. So many gathered that there was no room left, not even outside the door, and he preached the word to them. Some men came bringing to him a paralytic, carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus, and after digging through it, lower the mat the paralyzed man was lying on when jesus saw their faith he said to the paralytic son your sins are forgiven now some teachers of the law were sitting there thinking of, to themselves why do this fellow uh, say like that he is blaspheming who can forgive sins but god alone Immediately, Jesus knew in his spirit that this is what that they were thinking in their hearts. And he said to them, Why are you thinking these things? Which is easier to say to the paralytic? Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Get up and take up your mat and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth for, to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I tell you, get up, take up your mat, and go home. He got up, took his mat, walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone, and they praised God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. Here is a story where the paralytic and his uh, friends uh, knew that Jesus was going to be in a certain area and so they decided that they were going to make a visit. Of course other people also knew that he was going to be in this area and so they also gathered at the house. But when they got there there was no room for them to get in and so they did not give up. They decided to climb on top of the roof made a hole and let the paralytic or the sick man down and Jesus honored their faith and he healed the paralytic. Once again, we know that they went out of their way to do what they should do for their friends. But there's something I would like to point out as well is that we don't know why God heals some people and not others. It seems like he heals some who have faith and others uh, who have no faith. But uh, here is what we do know. The friends of the paralyzed man had faith in Jesus and their friend was rewarded because of their faith. This means that God honors our faith and our commitment to those in need. I'm not saying that God always do something miraculous when we help someone in need, but he can as he has done in the past. If you happen to know someone who is sick, someone who is in need, it doesn't have to be someone from your church it could be a neighbor, someone down the street, maybe someone you have not uh, met before, but heard of the person's illness. Reach out to them. Maybe take in a bowl of soup, a small meal of some kind, 
and let the person know that you are praying for their healing. So reach out to the sick and lend a helping hand.